Hello everyone and welcome to the Magnum Channel Offline. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Normally I, um, uh, Magnum Channel Offline, I do welding videos, I do fishing videos, things like that, but I'm going to do one today. It's going to be a cooking video, or maybe I should say more properly a baking video. And um, I'm not really doing this in response to any one person. But um, this is kind of a video for all you guys out there. A lot of the uh, gun guys that follow my channel and even some of the non-gun guys that follow my channel. I know a lot of you guys have gardens. And um, so this is the ultimate uh, summer dessert, in my opinion. Um, what we're going to show you, what I'm going to show you today is um, how to make chocolate zucchini cake. And this has been a tradition um, in my family for a long time. It was uh, passed on to us by a friend. And we have loved it ever since. So every year um, in the summertime, uh, usually in late June, early July, uh, the zucchini plant is big enough that um, we get more zucchini than we know what to do with usually. So uh, there's lots of ways to cook zucchini that are great. But uh, today I'm just going to show you um, one of the things that we absolutely love to do with the zucchini, and that's make chocolate zucchini cake. So uh, the ingredients that you will need for chocolate zucchini cake are... Um, usually one medium to large zucchini and uh, preferably one that's not too large so it doesn't have seeds and all that but what you'll need from it is two cups of grated zucchini so we'll, you'll need two cups of grated zucchini you'll need a half cup of margarine you'll need a half cup of salad oil you'll need one and three-fourths cup sugar you'll need two eggs one teaspoon of vanilla a half cup of sour milk one fourth cup of cocoa powder, two and a half cups of flour, a half taste half teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and you'll also need a half cup of brown sugar and one cup of semi sweet or milk chocolate chocolate chips, preferably semi sweet, and some people like to add nuts. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to set your oven to 325 degrees. You want to be sure and do that first so that it's ready when you need it. And next we're going to soften the butter up. So it helps if you let it sit out a little bit, but um, you just want to heat it up uh, in the microwave or whatever. So just a couple of seconds, not too many, maybe five or six seconds. You want to keep checking back because you don't want it to cool or it'll cause problems. So you just want it softened. Now we're going to add in our salad oil and our sugar so we're pouring the salad oil here and then half cup of that and we gotta have a cup and three quarters one cup and three fourths a cup of sugar so we're adding in the sugar the salad oil butter. I'm also going to add in two eggs here. I just showed one for the sake of the video. Took a second tap there. So we have two eggs as well. And we're going to add all these together and mix. And you want to be sure and get the bowl really clean. Get all that out of there because uh, baking is very, very specific. Uh, it's not like cooking where something, you know, not all that gets in, it's okay. You want to be sure and get all that uh, remainder out of the bowl. So now we're going to add in our sugar. There's the first cup. This is the second one. You want to be sure you switch to a three quarters cup for the second one. So here comes the second one. A lot of sugar. <laughs> so you're going to mix that with a hand mixer, preferably, or um, if you had a tabletop mixer, you could use that too. Might be a little more work to clean up or set up or whatever, but so just gonna well mix that till well mixed. Now we're gonna shred our zucchini. So like I said, usually one medium to large zucchini. You need about two cups, lightly packed, not, not very packed. Now we're gonna add in our vanilla. And keep the zucchini separate there. You can see it back there for now. We're not adding it in just yet. Now we're adding in a tablespoon of vinegar to sour the milk. So we're adding in a table of vinegar, we're going to sour the milk, so we're on a half cup of milk total, including the tablespoon of vinegar. Now we're putting in our fourth cup of cocoa powder, and I kind of like to hand mix that a little bit, just to uh, keep it 
keep it from being so it's real, real powdery if you just take to it with the mixer and really make a mess in the air. So mix that up a little bit by hand first, then hit it with the mixer. Now we're adding in our soda. And you want to add in your salt, your soda, and I like to add in the first half cup of flour all into a separate bowl. You mix that up and it helps keep you from forming salt pockets. And then when you add that in, again, you're going to want to mix it by hand to help keep from uh, getting so much in the air. And then you're going to add in your separate two cups of flour. So again, just repeat the process after you mix it in, add in the second cup of flour, mix it by hand. Okay, so now we're going to add in the zucchini. And uh, with the zucchini, you definitely don't want to use the mixer. You want to mix it up by hand only because you don't want to turn it into mush. That will cause the cake to have problems. So now we're going to grease our pan here. So we've got some pan. We're going to grease our pan up. You want to spread that around just so that it uh, covers the pan well. It comes out easily. Now you're just going to pour your mix. Use your mixed in uh, zucchini into your pan. And now we're going to make our topping. So we're putting in our brown sugar. Be sure you pack your brown sugar. So you get it all packed down there. You always pack your brown sugar. You add in your chocolate chips. Shake them down. Get plenty of chocolate chips. If you don't want so many, you can add fewer. Chocolate chips is kind of a... So now we're just going to spread our topping out on our um, batter here. Cake batter. And so you get it all spread out. And you want to smooth it out just so there's no lumps. Make sure you got plenty of stuff everywhere. And put it in the oven for 45 minutes. You might want to check it at 40, 41. So here we are, 45 minutes later. Wow, doesn't that look good? I'll tell you guys, this is so good. It's so good. It's a zoomed in shot there. The baked chocolate chips and the brown sugar on there. And all that's left is to serve it up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you try making it. It is the best summer dessert of all time. And, um... So anyway, yeah, hope this hope, hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video.